Okay, it's time to make a movie of this thing in action. I have it set up right now with one kilohertz wave, sine wave coming into the um, coming into the 331. The oscilloscope sits there on the output, which is uh, one tenth of the uh, uh, input value. Just know that as a reference. And right now we're at, we're at set level, so we're at 100 percent. We're not filtering any of the signal. And if I go over to the math menu right quick, I could show you on the spectrum. And you can see right here at the end, we have our, our one kilohertz um, sine wave on the spectrum. And I'll bring it back here. And what I'm going to do now is obviously I've already got this tuned. I'm not going to sit here for five minutes and tune it in front of everybody. If required, I'll make an instructional video how to do that. But for right now, we're just trying to look at some of the performance aspects of this. So if I switch it over to distortion, we see the waveform is, is completely gone, and it's at zero. Now, when you turn these knobs down to, uh, um, to uh, uh, increase the sensitivity of your measurement, there's also a, a, a register there that shows that right now we're at zero decibels, no gain, no loss. And, and that zero is up here, it's annotated in, in red. And if I turn it, as I turn it down, as we make it more sensitive, what we're actually doing is we're looking at it with a reference of negative 10 dB each time. So what we're seeing on the output is obviously 10 dB more than we were looking at beforehand. So I bring it down 10 dB, and obviously we don't see anything. And I'll start to drill this down. We see it's starting to get bigger. And, and we were also seeing the meter is now showing a reading. And what we're left with looks like a lot of noise. However, we have to look at this in the context of what we're looking at right now has 50 decibels more added to it than there was before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back to 0 dB. And I'm going to switch over to the math menu. And I'm going to do the very same thing in the math menu. I'm going to go to distortion, set distortion, and we can see our, our sine wave at 1 kilohertz on the left-hand side. And I move to distortion and it disappears. Now, at this level, obviously, at 100%, uh, we're not really going to see any artifacts. But as we bring it down and look at the spectrum, we can see some harmonics creeping up. Also keeping in mind that what we're looking at is greatly amplified. Uh, Right now we're at about as low as I could go, which is 0.21%, uh, uh, I believe, yes, 0.21% total harmonic distortion. And we can see those harmonics. So it's kind of cool that um, the output is amplified by 10 dB each time. So we're really able to see, uh, really with a microscope, if you would, at this level, uh, the harmonics that we're seeing. And you can see that the spacing of the harmonics are consistent. Uh, with what we would expect, uh, the grad their, their separation of the graticules is constant, and with that, uh, an analysis can be made of what particular uh, sort of uh, artifacts you're looking for. So this is basically when we get down to it, when we're when we're at our our lowest uh, readable distortion reading, what we're really looking at is we're really looking at noise now under a, uh, a high highly magnified microscope and looking at harmonics that, that otherwise we would not be able to see. Uh, just to bring it back to 100% to show you what it looks like, you can't, you can't see any harmonics in that noise floor. I mean, that, that's just gone. So we review. There we go. Without filtering, we see our sine wave. Now we see nothing. And now we keep dropping it down to negative 50 decibels. So we could see our output. So there we go. That's it in action.